Okay, so I'm sure you're wondering what is the best item I ever picked up garage selling and I just got it today. I'm gonna make you stare at this wall for just a little bit before I give it away. And what the deal is, is I was looking on Facebook Marketplace last night, looking up sales, getting an idea of what's out there this weekend, writing down addresses, all that kind of stuff. It was Wednesday night, you know. Sometimes there's sales on Thursdays, but usually they're Friday, Saturday, but I like to get a little jump start. And I noticed that one sale they were calling an estate sale was gonna start Thursday at noon and then continue through Friday and Saturday. And I was scrolling through the pictures, and I noticed something at the bottom of one of the pictures that looked familiar to the type of item I've been selling lately. Okay, I thought, well, that's interesting. Then I scrolled to the next picture, and I realized they have 10 of these things, okay? So I was able to read the box on a couple of them, and uh, I looked it up on eBay sold, and I was amazed at what some of them were worth. So I immediately knew I had to have them, and if anyone else knew the value of these things, they would grab them. So I contacted the person, I said, can I, get, can I come check them out tonight? They said, I'm sorry, I'm not home, I just, it's not going to be able to work out. I said, well, can I come by in the morning? I don't have time in the afternoon to come to the sale, but I would have time in the morning. Could I please check them out? They said, sure. How about nine o'clock, all right? So that's three hours before the sale starts. I said, that's good to me, I can do it. So anyway, I show up and I get them today. So here's what it is. Check that out, it's more toys, all right? I believe these are from 1990. They are made by Galoob, all right? Which is a great brand to look for from back in the day. And they are called Babyface, all right? But if you look at them, they are all a little bit different and they all have different names. So Innocent Cynthia, So Delightful Dee Dee, So Loving Laura, So Caring Karen. They all have, you know, really creative names or whatever. But what, in, what immediately stuck out was the boxes. I've been selling tons of my wife's old childhood toys. I've gained a lot of experience over the last month or two researching them, looking up values on different things, just, and I just have a really good feel that these were gonna be good. They're like from, the, I think, like I said, 1990, but these like late 80s to mid 90s toys are doing amazing right now. People my age in their 30s are buying their childhood back and they pay crazy money for this stuff. So anyway, while I'm talking to her last night, working out the deal, I was like, by the way, how much are you asking for these? She said, oh, I got help marking them, but I think we put them at $10 each. At that point, I knew I had to have them, and that's when I was like, well, can I come check them out tonight? Well, that didn't work out. I was like, well, can I come by in the morning? And we worked it out at nine o'clock. So I showed up three hours before everyone else, and like I said, there was 10 of them, but when I show up today, there was only eight. Apparently, she's keeping one, and she gave one away to a little girl for free, and one of those is one of them I could read last night, and it was worth the most money, which it sucks, but I'm not complaining because these will still be amazing. So let me just get to the point here. So the first one is called So, Inno so Innocent Cynthia. It's kind of hard to say. So I look it up. Oh, did I mention uh, when I show up, I forgot to say how much I got them for. So she's asking $10 a piece. I was expecting to pay $100 when I show up today. Well, then there's only eight of them, so I thought it was going to be 80 bucks. When I'm looking them over, she's like, well, if you're interested in all eight, I'd just sell them for $50. So I paid 50 bucks for these. So what's the math on that? Uh, 50 divided by eight, is that like, uh, is that $6.25 each or something like that? Anyways, not much at all. Okay, so now, So Innocent Cynthia. So I got about six bucks in it. Okay, without a box, we're talking $20. There's one for 75, you know, plus shipping. There's one for 50. So I think with the box and to play it safe, we're talking, you know, 50 to $80, maybe 90. I mean, maybe because of the way the toys work, I'll just ask real high, maybe 99, 99 and just let it sit until I get an offer or it sells for full price. But I think safely, I could say $50, 75, 80, something like that possibly. Okay, now we move on to, um, so sorry, Sarah. So there's one with the box for 40, there's one with the box for 60, and there's one with the box for 64. So I'm thinking about the same thing. You know, that 50 to 80 range, um, just, I, I think I just wanna go high and see what happens. You know, maybe, like I said, maybe ask 90 or 100 and, and accept an offer at 75 or 80. But more than likely, we're talking, you know, 50 to 75 bucks, something like that. Okay, so now the third one here, So Delightful Dee Dee. Okay, so same thing. We look here, there's one without a box, some kind of different dress sold for 50. There's one with some kind of t-shirt sold for 
And then look at that one. It's the same clothes. All right. It's got the hat and the I don't know, boots and all that kind of stuff. Sold for $95.95. So mine with the box, we're already at the point where we're talking like $75 to $100. Okay. So now the next one. So Playful Penny. I look that one up. You can see up top, there's one for $59.99 without a box. That one without a box, $60. And then look at those, 120 and 129. So that one's pre-owned. It has all the parts. It has extra clothes. That's why that one's so high. That one they're calling brand new, although it is open. I would say mine is in that kind of condition. So now we're talking, if this is 80 to 100, this is probably 100, maybe more. Maybe I could get 120 out of it, something like that. Okay, so now we move on to So Loving Laura. All right, so I look it up, and without a box, we're talking 35. There's one that went for 80 free shipping. There's one with the box, 80 plus shipping. Sometimes they're kind of like that, all right? And then we got a 64. There's one without a box, 91 out of Canada, and one for 45. So I'm going to say, uh, you know, I mean, that one, it's proven to sell for 80 with the box, but I think I could still get, you know, $100, maybe 120 if I just wait and uh and see okay this next one's a little bit different if you notice it's called a bathtub baby face and its name is sad baby brook and it does look kind of sad oh did i mention they're all blonde except that one's a redhead and i did notice if you find any of these and it's a brunette they're worth really good money and if you can find one that's not a, a little blonde white baby if it is you know the brunette and it's like an african-american baby or i don't know what other ones they made they go for crazy money they, they're worth a lot more, I guess, because they're just, you know, not as common. Okay, so this one here, Bathtub, Baby Face, Sad Baby Brook. Uh, I look this one up, and we got one at 45 without a box. Or, or sorry, is this, this is still Laura. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we got a 34.95, a 33, and then look at that one. Sold for 117.49. It's got the bath mat, which I'm thinking might be this part right here. But I have the box and everything. So now we're talking, you know, that 120 range, maybe 130, something like that. It could be pretty awesome. So now we move on to the next one. So Playful Beth. All right, so look at this. So there's one without a box, sold for $99. Then this one, they're calling brand new. And if you look at it, it is still tied to the cardboard. So it looks like it is brand new condition. Mine is not quite that nice, but 170 on that. And then look at that one. Somehow, and I need to look at this listing further, but they got $405 for two of them. They have um, So Playful Beth and So Happy Mia. So two of, uh, two of them, they got about $200 apiece. I'm thinking mine's going to be more. This range maybe a little less. So if this one's like maybe 100 to 120, I'm thinking this might be 120 to 150, something like that. Now we're to the last one here. So Caring Karen. All right, so look at this. Without the box, if it'll focus here, 139, and look at this one with the box, 229.09. Brand new, you can see it's still tied to the cardboard. Mine's not like that, so I don't think I'll get quite that money. But if this one is like 125 to 150, I think this one could be 150 to 200. So it could be way up there, all right? Now I mentioned the best one, uh, she either kept or gave away for free. I looked it up and it sold for $249. It was a $250 baby doll made by Galoob from 1990. I don't know who's paying this money or why, but that is insane. 250 bucks, and I lost out on that one. I don't know if she kept it, maybe she realized the value or what, but man, these things are crazy. I haven't even heard of them before, and I don't even know what this adds up to, but I paid 50 bucks, and like it's gonna be a bare minimum, probably four or $500 if everything goes wrong. And if everything goes right, it could be over $1,000. If I get like top primo price, you know, I'm thinking it's probably going to fall in that like $600 to $900 range. That is awesome. So, I mean, I love finding this kind of stuff. It, it's, uh, I'm not excited about baby dolls, but whenever I can find 80s and 90s toys still in the box in this kind of condition, I get excited because they sell amazing and people pay crazy money for them right now. So anyway, as of right now, I've been, in, I've been reselling for almost two years. This is the best thing I've found so far.